Did you know in Mac OS, one of the easiest ways to make sure you're installing to the proper plugins folder is to open OBS, click file, click show settings folder, and then that'll bring up your actual folder. Then you can just go to plugins and drop your plugins in there. This can help with random issues where you try to follow instructions and install plugins, but they just don't seem to show up for some reason. This will make sure they're being installed into the proper folder. Next, for YouTube streaming now, and this isn't just for Mac OS, this is Windows as well, you can simply click start streaming. Whenever you click start streaming, it'll bring up this box right here. You need to set up a broadcast before you can start streaming. So then you can click manage broadcast. After you do that, this box will come up where you can actually create a broadcast from within OBS without having to ever visit the YouTube dashboard. Title, description, privacy, category, gaming. Of note for the gaming category in particular, unfortunately, you can't get any more specific than that. You can go through, set all of this up, and then once you go live, you will need to go to the dashboard and edit to specify which game. I'm hoping they'll fix that one of these days. You can specify thumbnail, latency. Most importantly, I would be sure to check the box to remember these settings. And that way, the next time you launch this, you'll have kind of a template set up the way you want it for next time. You can, of course, still select existing broadcast if you've already created and scheduled them in the YouTube dashboard. Also for YouTube streaming, you can create this handy little event doc using stream elements, similar to how you would with Twitch. The way you'll do this is we'll create a custom doc. Log in to use stream elements dashboard and then click pop out. After you scroll down and click pop out, you want to go to the top where it says stream elements, right click and copy website address. After you've done that, you can close this out. Then we want to go back to OBS, click docs, custom browser docs. And I've already created one here, but we'll paste that address right there. Now, after you do that, you've got your doc and you'll set it wherever you want. The next problem you're going to run into is the default color is this bright white. So this is kind of clunky, but there is a way we can change that we go to docs again do custom browser docs create another one temporary that is just streamelements.com after you apply and pop that up you'll log in i'm already logged in then once you've authenticated you can close that doc go back to this one and refresh and it'll have your color scheme i hope this has been helpful for you thanks